We heard of Coco Melon? We might learn about it today. I have heard streamers who are parents decry it. Ban this sick filth. Sunny V2's video, Coco Melon, the most evil channel on YouTube. Years ago, I heard content creators and streamers who had kids talk about how they'd let their kid watch all sorts of stuff, they would not let their kid look at Coco Melon. My son is almost two and I've been letting him watch Coco Melon, but now I had to get him speech therapy so I can get him to talk. <laughs> there are hundreds and hundreds of anecdotes in which parents mention parental issue. No, I cannot blame the channel. How much of this show was your kid watching? How much? In the exact same problem. The Coco My two year old is speech late and addicted to Coco Melon. Ma'am, your baby was born addicted to Coco Melon. Actual internet crack baby. Just turn off the TV, right? Just be show is so insanely addictive, it's being compared to nicotine and causing developmental Come issues on. amongst the kids who can't stop watching. Children's The kids who can't stop watching. The kids who are not stopped from watching by their parents. Why are we talking about the self-control of literal two-year-olds? Why are we talking about the self-discipline of two-year-olds? Not stopped by their parents, not the babies who can't watch. Though these six-month-olds can't stop themselves from touching Coco Melon on their little baby tablet. Shut the f*** up. TV expert Jerrica Sands calls it the most damaging show a child can watch. Expl I don't know. There are probably worse ones. Maybe the- <laughs> Certainly the worst- I, I presume it's assumed that- you should only uh, include other children's shows in that list. I think there are some other ones that would do some permanent damage. Explaining the sneaky ways Far in which they make the show addictive. Uh, firstly, there's the colors. Take from <laughs> firstly, there is an algorithm that is uh, injected into your computer by the show itself that causes it to produce fentanyl particles that are released into the air, making the baby literally physically dependent. <laughs> For example, the wheels on the bus. <laughs> Please. Stop. Is this real? The three main colors, blue, green, and yellow, are all at maximum saturation, meaning they cannot be made any brighter, no matter how hard you try. Extreme saturation is normally used... In the future, the only people who will be able to function are those with color blindness. Only they are immune to Coco Melon for alerts and notifications as it's exciting dynamic it's real psychology babies are not getting a nicotine like addiction from saturated colors though no 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 way it attracts attention which is why it's also used in slot machines coco melon puts these colors in perfect contrast making them appear even more vibrant which is different to for example bluey in which the colors instead mm. blend together Ethical color palettes. Coco Melon's also different because it's highly repetitive. There's a reason they have 38 videos with over mm. a billion views. A child's brain is wired to learn through repetition. Right. Two things are being mashed together here. He's saying the show is very repetitive, and then he's saying there's a reason they have so many views. The reason it has so many views, presumably, will be the video is being repeated over and over again shown to the child over and over again, which is different from the show itself being very repetitive, which I presume it is, but he's sort of mashed two things together. How many times the video itself is played and the content of the video. So it feels right to them to watch the same thing over and over again. Right. Coco Melon abuses this in almost every video. For example, in the Yes Yes Playground song, they pick a word to repeat three times in every sentence, yes. pairing it with a subtly repeating background lullaby, keeping children hooked. Literally no show or movie puts my son in- This is why Skibbity Toilet is an ethical show for your kids as well. Okay, think about it. Brrr, skibbity Dop, dop, dop. That's the same word three times, but yes, yes, then two times. They take the edge off by only repeating another word twice. Brr, skibbity, dop, dop, dop. Yes, yes. To a deep trance, the way Coco Melon does. The sec Why are you sissy hypnoing your one year old? Man, this show, like, makes it seem like my son's had a heroin overdose and he just starts frothing at the mouth. Stop showing it to your kid. What is wrong with you? It's really f***ed up, but I just keep doing it over and over again. 
second it's on the TV, he turns into a toddler zombie who doesn't see or hear anything else that's going on in the room. If I had a child and there was a show that did that, that show would be banned from my house and I would do everything I could to stop it from appearing even accidentally. What the fuck? This is only exacerbated by Coco Melon's subtitles, <laughs> which have also been a heavy point of criticism. The letters are not educational, I can barely read them fast enough. It's simply another interesting element to capture your little one's attention. Co Just too slow for the next generation, alright? Just too slow. Melon explains in every description, our goal is to help make learning a fun and enjoyable experience for kids, giving you the peace of mind that your children are receiving quality educational content. But people have argued that they're teaching exactly what children shouldn't do. Oh. For example, in the No No Bedtime song, the baby refuses to brush his teeth, have a bath, put on pajamas or get in bed. The it's a Chinese psyop education is that he eventually agrees to do so, yet a TikTok user was critical stating, anytime I'd ask my son to do a simple task, he'd say no, no, no. He's how old's your son? Is he gonna tell us how old the son is? Is your son perhaps two years old? I have psychic powers. Is her son perhaps two years old? Sitting there watching Coco- <laughs> He's 18 years old and he still won't brush his teeth after watching Coco Melon all day. Melon, which taught him no, 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 and to say no to me. On the topic of education, Jerrica Sand stated, these people don't- <laughs> Women losing to a, to a YouTube short? Give a shit about our children. They care about money. Yeah. That's it. How much do you care about your child that you've sat them in front of that show for hours, though? Do you think you care more or less about your child than they do? Because you don't even get money out of your kids, so why do you give a- f and if you're going to put them in front of that, I can only come to the conclusion that you're not that bothered. Coco Melon has a dedicated Destructotron room in which once a month <laughs> children are brought here one at a time and shown a handful of episodes to figure out exactly which parts of the shows are engaging. Yeah, but you can, they can turn this around and say, hey, it's actually an accessibility feature. It helps the children who have ADHD to focus. And which are tuned out. Next to the TV playing Coco Melon, there's a second screen which plays a continuous loop of banal real world scene. We can see what they're looking at and the exact moment when they got distracted. Therefore, education clearly isn't the primary goal. Keeping kids' attention is, and this is proven by Coco Melon's most sure. addictive element, rapid camera cutting. It's crazy how many times the frame changes on Coco Melon. It's the same type of addicting behavior that we experience on a what I'd want to see is that there's no educational outcome. Mm, the thing I have the greatest interest in, so of course they want the kids' attention, but educational content has baked in a reason to capture attention because they're not going to learn if they're distracted. The thing that would condemn it would be that it does not have a, yeah, uh, I'm orange, yeah. TikTok binge. It's the quick change of frame that releases that dopamine and makes the videos addicting to watch. Count the seconds between a change of frame. Well, TikToker the circus brain did exactly this. He firstly counts the changes on My Little Pony, concluding there's about six seconds between each cut. He then compares it to Coca Melon. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. One. In her video, the you should take that footage and say sick footage of Coca Melon. He des it destroyed my child's brain. He can't even count to ten. Watch as he tries, but Coco Melon foils him every time. Dr. Kristen Summer explained that when showing an infant normal video content, they'll focus on the screen. Who's Dr. Kristen Summer? Just 11% of the time. However, when the video is instead switched to Coca Melon, their screen engagement skyrockets to a whopping 74%. Damn. What is the reason to not do that? Presumably, if they're being shown something valuable, that's good. If it is educational, then that's not necessarily bad. This therefore uh, produces stories such as this. I used to volunteer for a preschool and they had song time. A Coco Melon video came on and all of the tots stopped what they were doing, put down their cheese crackers and remained fixated on the screen for the duration of the video. It was honestly kind of terrifying. That's retarded, I'm sorry.
Put on Dragon Ball Z when I was six years old in the classroom. See what happens. YouTuber Saberspark shared his own personal anecdote. He asked to watch a Disney movie. That anecdote is not worth much consideration in my opinion. Hey, at school we put on the thing they all like to watch and they stopped paying attention to anything but the thing. Mm. Movie with his two younger cousins who both completely refused and instead spent all day glued to an iPad playing the addictive show. In Coco Melon Made My Kid a Zombie, a mother talks about her son. The meeting has become a member. Coco Melon is simply trying to weed out the apply optics with their constant jump cuts. It's survival of the fittest. True. I'm a Coco Melon caused my son to have many stroke like episodes. Stop showing it to him then. I just, you know, I just waved my hand in front of his face and he wouldn't move. It was scary. Don't show it to your fing kid, you sick freak. You f up bitch. Don't show that shit to your kid if it does it to them. Maybe he's actually having some sort of medical episode. What are you doing? It was almost scary. This was also discovered by Sarah Mills 98, who explained when the Coco Melon addiction is so <laughs> real that my one year old can navigate the TV to turn it on by himself. However, nothing. Coco Melon did that. No element of uh, his life did that. Just Coco Melon. Coco Melon MK Ultra's your baby into understanding a controller. True. You're not wrong, Hex. <laughs> Educational shows the addiction better than the Coco Melon <laughs> TikTok trend. Parents will play the show's intro loudly and video their kids sprinting toward the television where you can witness their mood change instantly. The New York Times journalist found- Does that not happen with other shows? I distinctly remember my younger sibling getting ex good, like going fucking crazy for stuff. There was like this dinosaur movie she'd watch a million times. Lose her mind for. Shut out everything else, come running if she heard it. Uh, that doesn't sound special to Coco Melon. On something similar, the kid in the Destructotron had shown up in the midst of a tantrum. There can be problems with Coco Melon without it being, you know, Satan's psyop. Which ended the second he heard the Coco Melon theme song. It was no surprise to Wheeler, the head of research. 99% of kids, he said, if they're having issues when they get here, once that Coco Melon song comes on, they're like, ah, life is okay. All is good with the world. Obviously, there's a reason for this. Cocomelon is so hyper-stimulating that it actually acts as a drug, and what happens when you take- What are you quoting here? What is this source? It's okay. All is good with the world. Obviously, there's a reason for this. Cocomelon is so hyper-stimulating that it actually acts as a drug, and what happens- A stimulant. What did you just cite? Cocomelon- the video file itself, a cocomelon.mp4, is itself a drug. ...when you take the drug away. Young children experiencing symptoms of addiction and withdrawal, obviously leaving them completely dysregulated. TikTok user ThePoff1 filmed what happens when you take the show away, explaining he'll be inconsolable for at least 10 to 15 minutes. I want to see a baby die because of, uh, die due to sudden cocomelon withdrawal. After adding in the description, Coco Melon Meltdown is legit. <laughs> My baby was born addicted to Coco Melon. I was babysitting while pregnant and Coco Melon was on for the babies I was babysitting, and my baby got addicted through my consumption. <laughs> Once you have a taste of the cocoa, it's hard to break the addiction. This <laughs> Reddit user had experienced even worse. My my husband and I have been worried about our child. I can slowly see how she'd throw violent tantrums at home and in church whenever she'd get bored and would want to watch the show. 17 month old? We're not quite up to that two year old mark, the terrible twos, but yeah. The more they watch the show, the more their brain begins to expect this intense level of stimulation. Be nice. They're the new, they're the new breed. Not slow boomers. Basically, Coco Melon overstimulates their brains so much that everything else just- Why are you showing me Lego Star Wars? What's happening? Why are you showing me Lego Star Wars? What the is- Slow and boring in comparison. However, the potential consequences get much worse than this. As mentioned at the- Why the f*** did you just show me Lego Star Wars? I'm- 
start, it was the cause of a child's speaking problems. With a notable reply reading, same thing happened with my daughter too. She's four but can't speak properly. She knows the words, but she does not like to frame the sentence or speech. She is right, I want to check something. Parent check. Live doxing on stream. You ready? I want to see how these people talk. I want to see what these parents are like, if possible. We can't see how they talk, but uh, there's their only playlist. They've got a nice bullring in their nose. RuPaul's Drag Race is what they watch. With a notable reply reading, same thing happened with my daughter too. She's four but can't speak properly. She knows the words, but she does not like to frame the sentence or speech. She has been watching these Coco Melons or such other stuffs for two or three years. She has been watching these Coco Melons or such other stuffs. Me thinks there is an alternative explanation. Hope we are not too late and everything sorts out. You're not, you're not going to mention that this parent is all jacked up in the way they Hope speak? Hope we're not too late. Over on Reddit, a speech language pathologist explained, screen time in general is... You verify that that is what they are or are they just someone on the internet saying they are? Speech delays for a variety of reasons, but Coco Melon is excessively bad. Firstly, unlike other TV shows or movies, it doesn't have a story. It doesn't have a story, so it can't teach your kid how to be gay. Hang on. Reddit.com slash you slash the speech pathologist is the Vegas girls. Looks like all they talk about is, uh, well, they talk about two things. They talk about uh, speech and language pathology. And they talk about Andrew Tate and feminism. It's just very short clips with poorly written songs. The kids aren't able to follow the plot, learn vocabulary, and see the resolution of a conflict, supported by infant specialist Meg Fora. And the problem with fast paced TV programs is that we find that little one's language development is slower. On the Agents of Speech YouTube channel, this is again confirmed. The main problem with watching videos on the internet is that they don't know how to use the language that they learn. But he adds that four to five hours of screen time per day can make a toddler completely non verbal. I would suggest that for sure, the screen time's a problem. I think regardless of what they're watching, they're gonna get a bit jacked up. Yeah. Four to five hours is obviously a lot of time, but in Coco Melon Made My Kid a Zombie, researchers discovered that five-year-olds who watch more than two hours of TV a day tended to have lower attention spans and were 7.7 .7 times more likely to show symptoms of ADHD. Can we please go for five-year-olds who watched more than? How about five-year-olds who were allowed to watch more than? Can we stop, like... Letting the parents off the hook on this, please? These screen times might be even lower for Coco Melon specifically, because as explained by Jerrica Sands, not all screen time is created equal. A child who just watched 30 minutes of Coco Melon and a child who just watched 30 minutes of Trash Truck will look like a very, very different child. Wait, literally 30 minutes ever? I don't know, man. Thankfully, here lies a simple solution. Sierra Renee explained my two-year-old is speech delayed and addicted to Coco Melon. Switched to Miss Rachel two days ago, and he's already saying more words and hasn't had any tantrums. Kim.it shared an almost identical anecdote. My eight-month-old was obsessed with Coco Melon and had- So it's not really addictive, is it? If you can instantly sub something else in and they're fine. How addictive is it? Well, you just set this up to be like some sort of drug they have heroin withdrawals from. Just show them Miss Rachel. Is this sponsored? Having bad tantrums, so I cancelled Coco Melon and only let her watch Miss Rachel, and she said her first word within the first three days of watching. Clearly, parents are able to simply change the channel, but not before leaving Coco Melon a massive amount of dislikes. And as with food, exercise, etc., it comes down to each parent. <laughs> Chocolate made my two year old diabetic to find the right and appropriate balance for their children. Our responsibility is ensuring that the quality of the content that we produce is high and beneficial for the development of a child's cognitive and soft skills. It is worth adding that our social media communities are filled with stories of parents who experience firsthand how Moonbug content helps their children. Moonbug content. Are you a Moonbug fan? Become a bug chaser today. Join the community. Cocomelon does have a crazy amount of supporters what? Okay. Anything that I've said that could seem like defense for Coco Melon, if this is what the shit looks like, that's horrifying.
kids. But it's obvious that some of them- It's clearly demons communicating with your child. People love blaming True. cartoons and games for raising children, for and not the shitty parents that don't step in to stop them from watching so much. Kokomo that, again, is uh, letting them off the hook too much, even. That's letting them off the hook. The parents don't step in. If your six-month-old is watching Cocomelon, it's not because the parents didn't step in. It's because the parents put it on for them. Cocomelon is actually a really sad symbol of parents giving their children tablets instead of actually parenting and interacting with them. Ultimately, parents are the people who choose. Damn, really makes you think, Sunny V. Thank you for leading us to that conclusion. I thought it might have actually been an interesting video where he says some wild things and then doesn't puss out at the end, but uh, okay, nice.